Have you ever wondered if it's possible to edit on your Steam Deck? Let's find out. Ever since 2021, I've been editing my videos on an M1 Max MacBook Pro. It gets everything done well with minor hiccups. However, these MacBooks are very expensive, whereas a Steam Deck you can get for around four to $600. So today, I'm gonna put my Steam Deck up against my MacBook, kind of. So spoiler alert, it works, just not really how you expect it to work. On my MacBook Pro, I pretty much can just download DaVinci Resolve and start editing right away. But on the Steam Deck, I actually ran into a few problems. You're gonna need a dock, and I recommend a dock with at least three USB ports and an HDMI port. So this will allow you to kind of plug in a keyboard, a mouse, and an external hard drive. And the next thing you need is a hard drive. This is how you're gonna get the footage onto your Steam Deck. So you can either edit from the hard drive or you can just put the hard drive files onto your Steam Deck, but it depends on how much storage you have. And then of course, you're gonna need a mouse and a keyboard just to make sure that you have a USB-A input because there's no USB-C inputs on the Steam Deck. Well, there is one, but it's being used by the dock. So the things that I'm gonna test today are color grading, adding effects, and then export speeds. All right, well, let's hop on the computer and find out, I guess. A candle. First thing you wanna do, obviously, is go to the desktop mode. I was all excited because I was like, oh man, editing on DaVinci Resolve, like it's gonna be sick. I tried opening it and it just didn't work. So I was like, all right. I went into forums and everything and tried to figure it out. And I was like, who the heck is gonna do this or want to do this in the first place? So there's this other program actually that is quite popular and it's called Kenden Live. And it's actually a video editor that's designed for the Steam Deck. In my previous video, I have this uh, montage at the beginning where I was like cleaning with a vacuum. So I wanna see if I can edit that part one more time. The problem is S-Log footage is a little bit complicated to work with and I'm really hoping that there's already the codecs in here that can read this footage. Loading the files right now, it's a little bit slow. Everything is right here, so I guess the, pro the project bin with, with all the files and stuff. Let's see how, <laughs> let's see what the timeline is like. playing that's good but scrubbing it is struggling it's struggling to scrub so while Ken Den Live has all the features you need the Steam Deck struggled with the footage I was working on the device was slow and choppy especially when adding effects like color grading all right so we got a solid five minutes to render out a 20 second timeline these specs initially made me optimistic about the video editing capabilities. If you're filming with an iPhone or a GoPro, which produces lighter files, you might have a smoother experience. Okay, there's actually one more thing that's kind of crazy that I really want to show you. And uh, let's just hop over, I'll show you. Interesting. How did that get there? Sorry, I had, to, <laughs> I had to do it. I had to plug my LUTs at some time. I feel like people actually really enjoy them because they're simple and just kind of create like a natural look. That's why I call my S-Log3 LUT the Natty LUT because it's just, it's natural. There's also a couple 8-bit uh, LUTs, like there's a S-Log2 LUT and then an HLG3 LUT. If you want to take your footage from this to this, check the link in the description down below. All right, let's see if I can edit iPhone footage on this thing. <laughs> Let's try this again. Clearly that didn't work very well, but this time I am bringing in some new clips. What was it called? Kenden. So we got some footage right here. Uh, I'm just gonna throw them on the timeline. So scrubbing is still, it's still a struggle, but I'm also at 540p. Let me see if I can, can I even go one to one? It works a lot better with iPhone. Yeah, I think because this is a 4K file, it's a little bit choppier. That's the thing. Anything that's like 1080p, seems to work pretty well, but 4K, it's a little too rough. But again, you know, like the functionality does work. Uh, it's just kind of a struggle. Okay, so unfortunately, if you're editing content on like a regular basis, I wouldn't recommend editing on a Steam Deck. There's always this dream where like, you wanna be able to work on, on like one thing, you know, like something that's good for video games, video editing and just everything. So, you know, you need an actual working PC to 
edit video properly. While the Steam Deck is actually pretty powerful, you know, you can play some AAA games, it's great, but video editing is just a different beast. You know, it's a totally, it has different codecs. You know, it's a completely different optimization system. So I wouldn't really recommend it at this point. I wanna dive more into this, but it's kind of a struggle. You might have a better experience editing on your phone. Yeah, again, this is not really meant to do that. It's crazy that they made such an in-depth software for video editing and it, you know, it's not even really meant for video editing, but like it just works pretty well. So yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was gonna be like, you know what? It's not very good. I'm never doing this again. It kind of sucks. I actually realized that there is a really good function for editing on the Steam Deck, editing game footage. And I don't know why I didn't think about this to begin with. The Steam Deck actually has like a built-in recorder. You can choose between recording the last 120 minutes or you can like start it and stop it manually. So this is actually really cool because I mean, I don't record my game footage unless something really funny happens and I wanna like share it with a friend. Editing game footage on the Steam Deck is surprisingly smooth. It's a lot better than editing on uh, iPhone footage because you know, there's codecs involved. The Steam Deck footage, all you gotta do is just export it and it gets exported as a MP4 file and it works really well on Kenden Live. If you're someone who records your game footage often or you wanna put together like a montage of your game footage, using it handheld is surprisingly smooth. While the interface is kind of small, you can get rid of certain windows. Yeah, I was gonna write this thing off as like, this sucks, I'm not editing on a Steam Deck ever. I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it is to edit game footage. So if that's something that you do, editing on the Steam Deck is an option now. <laughs> if you're editing footage like this, yeah, stick to a computer. I'm glad I figured that out. I was really disappointed to begin with. It should have been the first thing I thought about. So I apologize for that. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit me a subscribe. All right, well, I'm gonna go be a stealth archer for the fifth time.